Hello friends and welcome to chapel time for this week. Um, I hope you're ready to worship and enjoy this time that we get to spend together. I want to remind you that today we're going to be talking about Palm Sunday, which is a very special day in the church year and it kicks us off into Holy Week. And the reason I want to remind you is that if you went ahead and made our chapel craft from this week, your palm leaf, just like mine, I have mine here, I want you to run and get it. And I also want to tell you that today we're going to be using the story from our Spark Bible. So our Spark Story Bible, if you have that at home, go ahead and pause now and maybe you can go get it and find the story for Palm Sunday and you can look at the pictures while I read it. So now that we've gotten those little things out of the way, those reminders, let's go ahead and open our worship since I've already lit our candle with Jesus, Jesus be our light. I'm gonna count one, two, three to start us off and then we'll sing and do the hand motions together. One, two, three. Jesus, Jesus, be our light. Come to make the darkness bright. Through the day and through the night, Love me, keep me in your sight. Jesus, Jesus, be our light. Come to make the darkness bright. Excellent. That's still one of my very favorite songs. I think we should sing it every single day. Alrighty. Now we are going to open our worship in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now before our welcome prayer, our opening prayer for the start of worship, we've got to get our hands ready. So put your hands up. We're going to go open, shut them, open, shut them, wave them in the air, open, shut them, open, shut them, fold them for our prayer. And repeat the prayer after me. Dear God, Help us to listen, help us to learn, and help us to understand. Amen. Wonderful. It's a good prayer to say anytime we're going to talk about God or think about God, it helps the Holy Spirit to open up our minds and help us know about God. So now that we have done all of those things, I want to first show you a couple things. So like I showed you before, here's my palm leaf that I made. And we're gonna find out in the story why these are so important. But here's your palm leaf. And I wanted to show you, I actually have mine at my church. We get them handed out every year on Palm Sunday. And I like to save mine for the year ahead. So I wanted to be able to show you, this is a palm leaf. These are the ones that we use at church. See, they're very, very, um, kind of floaty and pretty. And in our story, we're going to have our friends waving them in the air, which is pretty cool. So I just wanted to share that with you because I have it in my house still. Um, and it reminds me all year long of Jesus and of this special day that we are going to celebrate today. So there's that. And I keep your palm frond ready because you're welcome to wave it during our story and during our song. So before we get into our song, which is a very special one this week, and we're going to work a little bit harder to learn it. Um, we're going to read the story. So if you have your Spark Story Bible, I want you to open it to Palm Sunday, and you can look at the pictures with me. All right, Palm Sunday. Friends, Jesus said to his disciples, I need to go to Jerusalem. I've got some important things to do, and I want to celebrate Passover with you there. Will you come with me? Sure, said the disciples. Passover is a great holiday, such good food. And what a wonderful story Passover celebrates. The exodus of God's people, the Israelites from Egypt. It's good to be with friends and family at Passover. So Jesus and his friends started to go to Jerusalem. When they got close to the city, Jesus said, I'd like two of you to go and borrow a donkey in the next village over. Please tell the owner that I need it. He'll understand. 
when the two friends came back with the donkey, Jesus climbed on its back and rode down the hill into the city of Jerusalem. The disciples followed behind him. Suddenly, they found themselves in a parade. People were singing and shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, here comes God's king. Hosanna, praise God. People all over heard the shouting and the singing, and they joined the parade too. Hundreds of people, thousands of people. They started taking off their coats and laying them on the ground for Jesus and the donkey to walk on, kind of like a carpet in front of them. They pulled palm branches down from the trees and waved them as they sang. Then they threw their palms on the ground to make a path for Jesus. The crowds gave Jesus a royal welcome as he rode into the city, just like a king. But Jesus was a very different king. He was a king of peace. Not everyone understood that. Jesus was not at all what they were expecting. They thought that the crowd was too loud and the parade was getting too big. Who is that man? Someone asked. What's going on here? Asked another. The crowd answered, This is Jesus, God's king. He has come to save us. Some of the religious leaders murmured, Hush, Jesus, tell your friends to be quiet. It is way too loud here. But Jesus said, We can try to make these people be quiet, but that wouldn't make a difference because today the whole earth is celebrating. So this week, our song that goes with our story is a little bit different because it's one that I wrote and want to share with you. Um, I wrote it just for you guys. It's actually based on a song called Hosanna, Loud Hosanna that was written a long, long time ago by a woman named Jeanette Threlfall. So I took her beautiful words and I just made them a little bit simpler and a little bit easier so that we could sing them together and changed it just a little bit so that it fits our story. listening and joining with me. It was a really fun thing to do to write that song for you guys. Um, so we're now going to close out our story with a prayer. And I think for today, we're going to do different prayer hands. We're going to do palm leaves, wave your palm leaves, clap them together, and repeat the prayer after me. Dear God, we lift our voices in praise and to sing. Hallelujah. Hosanna. Thanks for Jesus, our King. Amen. So the last thing we're going to do before we sing, thank you for another day, another beautiful, wonderful day. We're going to do our blessing. So I think you all remember how to do this. First, we put our hands on our head. So we're going to say, God be in my head. God be in my heart. God be on my left side. God be on my right side. God be in my whole life. Thanks be to God. Alrighty. So now that we've heard such a wonderful story about Palm Sunday and we're getting excited for um, Holy Week, Let's say thank you to God for today, for this time that we got to spend together, and for every day. All right, we're going to sing thank you for another day. Here we go. Thank you for another day. Guide us in our work and play. Help us do the things that are right. Keep us
go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.